Next.js versions 13 and 14 allow you to set up Tailwind CSS as part of the project setup. But what if you have an existing project? How can you get Tailwind CSS set up? I'll show you in this video. Stay tuned. All right, so I have Visual Studio open and basically I have no files or folders in this current directory. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and create a new Next.js version 14 project. Let's type here npx create dash next dash app at latest and dot to install on the current directory. Let's hit enter. All right, so the first question here is what I'd like to install TypeScript. I will say no to that. Um, uh, no to ESLint, but here we have the question, would you like to install Tailwind CSS? Now, this would be the perfect scenario if we were working with a brand new project and we wanted to kind of pre-install Tailwind CSS, which comes with a complete set of configurations. But we're, in this scenario, we're going to imagine that we do not have Tailwind CSS installed. And then at some point later on, we would then install Tailwind CSS, post CSS, and so on. So I'm going to select no here just to uh, in, uh, create this project without Tailwind. And then I'll, I'll accept the other defaults and hit enter. And I'll give that a second to install and create my new project. Okay, so it looks like that's um, been created so that you see here in our left sidebar that we have a project, uh, Next.js 14 project already set up, but we don't have any trace of Tailwind CSS here. So what we need to do uh, is to install uh, Tailwind CSS as well as the post CSS package. So I'm going to be writing a few commands down below. Let me go ahead and clear my terminal. All right, so we got a fresh terminal to work with now. So the very first command I'm going to type is we'll need to install the Tailwind CSS package as well as post CSS. Uh, so let's type here npm install dash d to make this a dev dependency Tailwind CSS post CSS auto prefixer and let's hit enter that's been installed now what I want to do here is let me just go ahead and run the server as of right now all we've done is installed the packages we haven't configured them yet so let's go ahead and run the server with npm run dev and I'm just gonna open a browser so go to localhost 3000 And so far, we just have like the default Next.js um, initial page that we get when we start a brand new project. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make an edit to this page. So we're going to open up our page.js file. And this is where the markup for this page exists. I'm just going to get rid of all of this. And we're going to create a brand new React component like this. And I'm just going to rename this component as homepage. And let's give this uh, a React fragment. And I'm just going to add an H1 here of home page. And then I'm going to add a paragraph tag and just some lorem ipsum text like that, just to display something on the page. So if I go back and refresh, you'll see here I have this uh, uh, H1 heading and then I have this lorem ipsum text. So yeah, very ugly, but hopefully we can make it look a little bit better with uh, Tailwind CSS. So now, again, we currently do not have uh, Tailwind CSS configured, although we've already installed the packages. So now what we have to do is we actually have to start to configure Tailwind CSS in this project. Because, for example, if I go back here, and let's say, for example, if I wanted to add a Tailwind class to this, just to show you guys that nothing has been uh, configured, let's just add... For example, let's make the text very large. So I'll use this um, utility class of text for Excel. And if I go back and refresh, here you'll see no change because basically Tailwind CSS has not been configured. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's clear the console below. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll open up a brand new tab. We'll keep the console running, the server running. Let's just clear this here. So the next step is we'll need to run another command. And that command is npx tailwind css init dash p. And that's going to go ahead and initialize the tailwind css package for our project. So I'll hit enter there. And what 
should have happened here is it should have created uh, several files here on the side. Basically, our tailwind.config file has now been created. So I'll go ahead and open up that. I'll open up tailwind.config.js, and here we have some of the tailwind configurations. So this is the file we're going to be working with here to set things up. So what I'm going to do is on Tailwind's website here, and I'll post this in the video description below, we actually have some code that we can add to this file uh, to make it, to get things up and running. So let me just copy this code here. Then I'll come back here, get rid of everything here, and I'll paste this in, okay? So basically this uh, code here is essentially a JSON configuration, and we have this content uh, object at the top that specifies several files within our app folder, pages folder, and components folder. Generally, you would come here if you wanted to add additional libraries such as Flowbyte or Daisy UI, you might come here and tweak some of these settings, but for Tailwind, we don't really have to do anything extra here. So now, all we'll have to do is add the Tailwind directives to the top of our globals.css file. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and open up globals.css, which is in our app directory. And you see here, we just have a bunch of boilerplate uh, styles here. I'm just gonna get rid of everything here. And at the very top of our file, we're going to add three directives. The first one will be at Tailwind base, semicolon. Second one will be at Tailwind components, semicolon. And lastly, at Tailwind utilities. Hopefully I'm spelling it correctly. All right. Right, so these are the three directives we're adding. And just to make sure that things are working here, I'm just gonna also add a layer. Now this is not required. This is basic, layers are basically used for you to group together uh, various types of styles based on these components above. So what I'm going to do is, when I'm going to use a layer base and I'm just going to uh, make edits to our H1. So let's do an H1 here. And now we're going to use the at apply annotation. So that way we can apply some color. So let's give this a let's give this uh, text a background color of red 800, just to make sure that this global CSS file is working. Now, just to really quickly before I switch to my browser, if I go back to the page.js file that we were working on, you'll also notice that we've already added this text 4xl uh, tailwind uh, utility to our element to our H1 element. So now that we've made changes to our tailwind.config file, we should stop the server so that the changes will get picked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the server right now. now. Let's just clear the console. And once again, I'm going to type npm run dev to restart the server. And if I flip back to my browser, now you guys will see that there's a red background and the text is 4XL. So this uh, is now getting picked up and Tailwind has been configured and installed. So guys, if you like this, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned on future videos.